Why the shock in your face? Sorry ma. Why the sorry? Why did you keep me waiting? I thought Tessie Kinta called you. And why did you refuse to come? Ma, I told her, I will not be able to join you guys to pray. And why? I feel little bit sick, you feel little bit sick. Yes ma. And when did the sickness started? Because you were the one that did the cooking today. And you were healthy and sound. Why are you now suddenly sick? I don't really know ma. Is all right. Please mention you get some medicine before sleeping. All right ma, thank you. Good, this is nice. Hello Alex. Irma, it is nice seeing you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. How is business? I don't know what is happening to me. Hey, come on Alexia. What is wrong? What happened? Irma, I have not been able to sell just one item since for the day. Nobody is coming to my shop to ask for anything. This is serious. Do you know what is the time now? And you have not sold one item for the day. Yes, Irma, I have been praying and praying and I am tired. And it was because of this reason I came to you. Because everything is just falling apart. And I don't want to continue in that lifestyle of my late husband. I just needed a change. The weight is getting very heavy for me. My children is just there at home doing nothing. All they do is just arguing every day. I told Tracy to come to the shop when she is done with what she is doing at home. Up till this moment, she is not here. Why are they not in the school? For now, they have holiday. Oh, holiday? Yes. Oh, I see, you know I don't have any kids going to college for now, this is why I didn't know it is holiday season, for those in the college. There is this student work, every college student knows. Why didn't they go for it, to support you? This is one of my worries, my kids don't want to do anything. That is strange, and they are grown up. Stop crying Alex, don't worry everything will be fine. Keep on praying customers will come, don't give up. And in this period, since your children are at home, mention every one of them, partake in the prayer exercise. Irma, this is my challenges, they are not too serious, sometimes they give excuses. Even my maid, that one is always sick, whenever it is time to pray. Did you say your maid? Yes my maid. There is this girl, my late husband brought, from the village, years ago. To live with us. She is from my husband's family, the father died, when she was younger, so the mother could not take care of her and her two siblings, so her mother decided to send them out. So my husband, brought her home, in order to help. And he sent her to school. And she is still living in your house? Yes. Is she not done, with her school? Yes, she is done with her school since three years now. Then, why is she still living in your house? Your girls have grow, they should be able to take care of themselves, and the house. I don't think you need any maid. She should go and marry. Or is it you, who don't want her to leave your house? Have spoken to her, several times, but she keep on giving me different excuses. That she will miss us, that I should please she will move out once she find a job. Oh, she has not be able to get a job. Yes. If that is the case, when next time, you called her for prayer, and she give you the attitude of I am sick, tell her to come and sit down, at the presence of God. Why you and your kids lead the prayer? Alex, you need to do that. Any one of them, that said she is sick, let them sit right in the presence of God while you pray. Because, the devil is so subtle. You need to encourage every one of them to pray with you, don't leave anyone behind is all right, thank you. Hope I will see you at the all night on Friday. Yes, I will be there. Please try to come, with every one of them, you know the all night session at the church, is prayers all through. And you all need this prayers. This I know. Don't worry, everything will be fine, God said we should call upon him, in the day of our troubles, and he will deliver you, and you shall glorify him, Psalm 50 verses 15. His word is yes and amen, he will intervene, there is a breakthrough at the eternal for you, please do not give up. 
Oh thank you so much, you have just lifted this weight, out of me. I was very worried, and I needed someone to talk to, this is why I call you, yesterday. Don't worry, now I understood why you sound so urgent. It is well. Thank you, I am grateful. You are welcome. I will see you on Friday, at the church. All right thank you, have a nice day, and thanks for coming. Oh thank you Jesus. What will I have done, without Irma, of recent she has really been of a great help to me. May the Lord reward her. Everyone is going to partake in this prayer session. I will be leading for 15 minutes, Samartar will be the next to lead for 15 minutes. Please Ma, can I be the last person to lead? Because I am a little bit sick. Is all right Samartar, let's pray. Lord we thank you, for being in our midst, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, and we are praying O Lord against, any power any spirit, tormenting our lives manipulating us, let your fire from above consume the, in the name of Jesus. We called on fire fire fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus, destroy them, fire consume them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 the name above every other name, fire, fire fire, please stop stop stop, don't destroy me, stop calling the name, the fire is too much. Said Martyr, what is wrong with you? Why are you telling mommy to stop? Who are you? Please mommy should stop, I don't want to die, I have a confession, to make. A confession? What have you done? I command you to speak now in the name of Jesus. Mommy please forgive me, I am the one that killed daddy. What? You are the one that killed my husband? Yes, forgive me, I am the one that cast a spell on Tracy and Tessie. I am the one that make Justin not to be serious in school, I was told to destroy this family. My mission is to see you struggle, and struggle in life. Oh my god, you a martyr, are here living with us, all these years, with a wicked intention. How could you kill my husband? A man that means so well for you, he brought you out of the village, to the city, to give you a better life, all you do is to kill him? I am sorry, I don't know what came over me. It is the demand of my queen. What queen? In my witch kingdom. Oh Jesus, Simarder, a witch. Oh my God, so you are the one killing me, after all, I have done for you. It is really said, you can never please a witch. I am sorry Ma, please forgive me just take my siblings to your pastor for deliverance, everything will be fine for them. They will regain their senses again. How there you called us your siblings? We were never your siblings, we accepted you, because our late father brought you home. And in your wicked heart you kill our father, who we love so much, you are very wicked. May God have mercy on you. How could you, pay evil for good? We all wish her well, but all she could do, is to pay us with evil. I am very sorry, please you all should forgive me. Oh my God, I can't believe this, so I have been living with a witch, all these years an enemy. First thing tomorrow morning, pack your belongings, and live my house. Forgive me, I am sorry. I need to call my friend Imar, who told me to force everyone to join this prayer exercise. So this is why, she has been giving me excuses. Oh thank you Lord, for exposing my enemies. Please mummy I am sorry forgive me. I will forgive you, if you will accept to go for a deliverance. Yes ma. I am tired, I don't want to continue in evil, please help me, that will be a joyful thing in my life. Is all right, I need to call Pastor Ezekiel tomorrow morning. Thank you mummy, I am sorry. Weeks later, our deliverance was conducted on Samritter, she was free, and the bondage on the life of Sister Alex Child was broken, and Sister Alex and children experienced the faithfulness of the Lord, thereafter, and Sister Samarder accepted Jesus into her life. Months after she moved out of the house of Sister Alex, this story teaches forgiveness, and carefulness, and in all we'll do, we should always seek God, first, we should teach our family the way of God, because the scripture make us to understand in Psalm 63 verses 1, O God, Thou art my God early will I seek Thee, let's continue seeking our God, and be watchful, 
so that the enemy will not have access to our lives. Please subscribe, like share, and leave a comment. God bless you.